All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and we're going to try to finish up the Atlas Path today. So let's cue up the music, and we'll get right to it. So we've got most of the Atlas Seeds. Uh, I think we've only got a handful more, three, maybe four tops. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to head up into space and try to locate the next interface. And then we'll uh, try to do one more after that. I don't know if we've got one already on the galactic map. Uh, oh, apparently we do. Let's see if we can warp to it. Yeah, we can do it in one warp, so let's head over there. It's got a pirate pirate system, Viking. Who knows, we might even find a nice uh, tasty ship to take while we're there. We've got about, what, 74 million units, I believe. Alright, well here we go. no longer have to rely on the warp cores that we get from these things since we've got some of those at the base. Um, I also have the ability, or you know, where we can get them all the time. I also have the ability to make antimatter as well as locating the uh, antimatter housings real easily. So warp cells, never an issue again. Let's go get some words real quick before we do this. Eyes. Okay, at least we're getting real words now and not stuff like the and a and and. Not that those aren't real words, but you know what I'm saying. Fear. One. Only. Oh, we got one in only. What? Alright, I'm done. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I can't run. Oh, there's A. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Yeah. Funald Abstraction. Look at those guys floating. Have we seen that before? And I not noticed it, or have we just not seen that? Ascent. Stop looking. Grab a couple more words on the way back to the ship. Maybe, maybe not. And then we'll go into the ship's inventory and we'll make Dawn's End. Alright, well, that's it for that one. And head to a new system. Now it keeps going to the purge. the Atlas path, so we're going to go back to finding the next Atlas interface. Because I'd like to just get done with that. And then we'll do the purge afterwards. I believe the purge is kind of like an end of the line thing for the whole Artemis journey and whatnot. There we go, we got an anomaly detected. Where is it? Bingo. Okay, should be one jump. 
Tell you what, building up the warp capabilities was a huge help. It's only being able to jump a tiny bit, it would take four or five jumps, not fun. Make sure you got a little bit of warp capability before you do this, otherwise it's just aggravating as all hell. Right, got a little trippy there for a second. Feels like we're getting a lot more words than we usually do. Whoa. Alright. Let's talk to him. This one's kind of pulsing. It's kind of... kind of scary. I admire these guys for their ingenuity in naming stuff. Okay, open. Come on. Come on. There's four real close to each other. Photic Jade yet? Not yet. Let's do it. This is why it's nice having a bunch of resources. You don't have to go, oh, wait a minute. I like to carry my resources on me. I know it might seem weird to some players. I don't know how you guys do it. Tell me down in the comments how you carry things around. I'm curious to see. Um, but yeah, I like having everything on me. That way it's just a real quick little pop and I can do whatever I want. If I gotta build something, if I gotta power something up, I don't have to bring in my uh, freighter or bring in a specific ship that happens to be carrying the stuff. It's in my inventory and I'm good to go. Do I carry stuff I really don't need? Yeah. Guilty. But, you know, better to have it and not need it then need it not have it, right? I'm just going to keep popping through these things. We all want to see what's at the end. Third one? Yes, the third one today. Pulsing like a heart, kind of. Really cool looking, man. Yeah, the upgrade visually from the PlayStation 4 to the 5 was... Very noticeable, I'll tell you that. Especially when it comes time to warp 
and pulse drive stuff like that but even the detail in like the character models and stuff like that like this guy's eyes when I took the uh, screenshot for um, the thumbnail you know just looking at his eyes I'm like man that is something There's just so much detail in it I just got a couple more here humor me you'd be doing this too if you're doing it Milestone complete. We're now a polyglot. There's a bunch more over there, but we're going to go talk to the Atlas first. like a good existential crisis, so we'll, we'll submit. Now we can make a state phaser. And there we go, cadmium. We might hit a wall here if it requires uh, indium or emerald, so if that's the case, then we will change gears and go to the proper systems, make sure we got the right engine for it, and farm some of that stuff. I do want some anyway. Just for building purposes and whatnot. I mean, we don't use a lot of it in the game, but there are a couple items that require some of those higher end uh, resources, and we may as well have them. Alright, let's do this. State Phaser. Back to the Purge, but we don't want that. We want the seeds. See that at the bottom right it says your destiny is in the beyond. I think this was the beyond update, if memory corrects, that introduced uh, Atlas for us. I think that was the update before the update that made me join, or when I joined, that uh, made me join. Nothing made me join other than a curiosity to see what all the hubbub was about this game, both good and bad. move on. We'll take care of this one. See what's going on. This may be the wall we hit. I don't know. If it is, then we'll just, uh, kind of system in here. Nice paradise planet.
died. Right, a couple more right here. Let's talk to this guy. Looks a lot like the last one, only things seem a little more wavy and out of focus. Officially hit a wall, but that's okay. We'll move on to the next system. I think, uh, I believe we already have the capability to travel to. I know we have the ability to travel to Red Stars. I think we might be able to go to the. I'm not sure if we can go to the Green or the Blue yet. I gotta look. Engine is. Oh, we just got a regular old hyperdrive, huh? We can install a cadmium and an indium. Wait a minute. Oh, we do have an emerald drive. Okay. Say, so, yeah, I thought we had upgraded our drive. So I wasn't 100% sure on that. So with that drive and let's make sure again what we need. Emerald. So we need to find Yeah, we can't go there yet, guys. Sorry. Try and go somewhere near it. That's another yellow star, right? Yeah. As is this one, but we want to hit. This one right here will work. Alright, this will take us to a new system. Gather up the goodies we need. Activated Emerald. And regular Emerald. And that's exactly what we needed. Correct? All right, let's go get some. Now, two things we're going to do while we're here. We're going to look for some of the emerald. We'll also head to that other planet and pick up some activated emerald. Just to have it. And we will um, see if we can't locate, like... Emerald Mine, which would be kind of cool. But first, we're just going to look for a patch of it on the ground. It should be easy enough to find. Should be. But then again, maybe not. All right, well, let's... It's over here. Maybe 
things just aren't loading in correctly visually. Nope. I thought that might have been something right over there, but it just disappeared. So emerald, emerald, emerald. There we got some ammonia. Cobalt. <sighs> emerald, how nice is that? There's cobalt right there though, huh? We may as well, you know, take a little bit off the top of that. It's not that big of a deposit, but it's something. Alright. There's the emerald. Now we're going to have to shift all the stuff we have in our inventory because... I'm kind of anal about how I store my resources. <laughs> yeah. But it makes it easy because it's pretty much the same across all um, characters, or at least it's pretty close to the same. It is at least in the basic to the mildly advanced stuff. Once you get down to the rarely used crap, it's not so much. But wow, wow this is a great resource here. Look at this. Nice thing is, whatever we have left, we'll take back to the base. We'll stop by our copper base, get some copper, uh, turn it into chromatic metal, and then we'll make more of this. You can do that with any of these, the indium, the emerald, the cadmium, all of it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with activated versions of these metals, so... That kind of sucks. Um, no, we don't need another one. They're all over the place. That's far away. I will grab a little ammonia while we're here, just because. It's close by where we landed. Definitely will come in handy. It was in handy for a few things, including um, growing more plants, you know, the fungal mold plants. We'll need some of that when we want to make a uh, actual farm. Come on, baby, we're close. Right, this is this a big one? That's pretty solid. Well, now. Never get it all. <laughs> but that's okay. Just like a typical human. Dug a big hole in the ground, stripped the resources, and now we're leaving. Get back down to our ship, we'll make that next piece. And then we'll head to the next Atlas station. Everybody can check to see how much we got. Let's see real quick. 511, that's solid. 
So we're going to move that to like right here, but I want to get some activated cadmium first. When I move it, I'll just move it all at once. All right, so boom, done. I think while I'm here, we'll get a little bit of activated emerald just because. It'll save us coming back to this system or another system for a second time. Did I just get... Oh, hold on a minute. This is interesting. Alright, let's accept the message. I can fly through that or anything. I thought it was a station for a moment. I was like, wait a minute. I can't shoot it. Let's try to fly through it. Nope. Okay. Don't do that, guys. Back on our way to the planet. <laughs> hey, you know... You gotta try these things out to see what happens sometimes. In the name of science. Bring it down. The cloud coverage is brutal. Water planet, awesome. Just what we didn't want. Looks like we won't be getting any activated emerald today, but we will be heading off to the next station. So let's do it. See, nice and close by. We've done a lot of warping and I haven't had to replace any cores. To check and see how we're doing. I'm surprised we haven't come up on a freighter, a freighter battle. I know it's been at least three hours since the last one, but whatever. So if I want to add indium drive now. Alright, I just need the wiring limbs. So I know we're going to be looking for indium after this. stable as we go. Okay, that's kind of unique. Oh, I want to create my own universe, yeah. Modify Quanta, and yep, Indium. I knew it. I knew it. How did I know it? a pattern. Alright, we're going to grab a couple more words. Bing, 
bango, bango, bango. Because words have meaning. And then we're gonna go to the space station while we're here. Um, we're gonna get the wiring looms to put in the Indium Drive. It's not gonna leave me as far as it's gonna take up most of my ammo, but like I said, I can just make butt tons of that using the uh, chromatic metal, so I'm not really concerned about that. Same thing will hold true for the indium. When we get it, I'm not going to look to get a bunch. I will try to get some activated if possible, but that's going to totally depend. Oh, man. What the hell? wasn't paying attention. Oh my goodness, that's gonna <laughs> do two things at once, thinking and flying. Are you drinking and, dr and flying stuff? Thinking and driving, or flying, yeah, not good. All right, let's come in for a landing here. Check it out, all right. Of course, first things first, we gotta check a couple things real quick. The gun. Always the gun. It's a rifle. It's a blue and yellow ugly rifle. And it's crap. Not even worth more than a cursory glance. We will upgrade our suit. Yep. We'll do this. We are acquiring new resources now, so we may as well make some space so that, relatively speaking, we will have uh, the same amount of free spaces once we get all that in there. And wiring looms. I only need five. I know I got more on my uh, ship, but I'm not going to do all that and bring that in. Alright, so Hyperdrive's 917-2. Let's remember that. Put in the Indium Drive. 923-5. Uh, store that. So having multiples does help a little bit. You know, even though you don't need them to travel to the different colored stars, it helps with your distance a little. But that's going to be a wrap on this episode. We're going to head to an Indium system in the next one. Thanks for joining me, everyone, as we continue along the Atlas Path on our No Man's Sky Let's Play playthrough. I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video at all. Don't forget to leave a like on it and ring that bell for notifications to do these videos daily. I will see you next time. Until then, peace.